What a turnaround for Nebraska to start Big Ten play. Lost to Gardner-Webb at home toward the end of non-conference. Then went to Indiana and ended the Hoosiers' 26-game home win streak. Lynn Watson and Ty Webster combining for 47. Followed that up by closing on a 14-0 run to top Maryland, halting the Turks' six-game win streak. Huskers guard Glenn Watson joins us from our studio in Lincoln, Nebraska. It is our Tire Pros campus interview. And Glenn, I'm going to put this to you very simply. How does a team win the two games that you guys won last week after losing to Gardner-Webb? With all due respect to Gardner-Webb, how do you go from that loss to the two really tough road victories that you had? Um, I mean, I think it was just sticking with it and staying with the game plan. I think um, we just took Gardner well for granted and we didn't like prepare well for them and we came in thinking we were just gonna go out there and beat them and they came out and beat us but um, going to Indiana and Maryland I think we came out with the right mindset um, and stuck together and did what we needed to do. Coach Miles went off of Twitter after that Gardner web game what did you make of that? Uh, I don't know. I don't. I don't. I, I don't follow him, so I don't really know. You don't follow uh, him. You're I, not required to follow him. <laughs> no, I don't follow Coach Miles on Twitter. But yeah, I don't know. I heard about it that he got off, but like I don't really. I don't really know about that situation. All right. What's what was his message to you guys going into, let's say, the IU game when you're coming off a, a defeat? in a game that, as you say, an opponent that you didn't think you guys should have lost to. What's his message as you head into the Big Ten and specifically into one of the toughest places to play in the league? Um, he just told us to go out there and, you know, play hard, play our game, um, and everything else will take care of itself. Um, and he knew it was going to be a close game. He said we just got to keep fighting and keep grinding it out. And that's what we did. Um, we came out there. We um, started off pretty well. Um, we got behind, but we never quit on each other, and that's what we did. Same thing with Maryland. How did that change your team's mentality in terms of the way you view yourselves? Um, I, I think, well, I think we always knew, like, we're a good team. I think we just got to believe it more, but I think we, we know we're a good team when we, um, when we practice because we practice pretty well. We, um, we're competitive, so I think, like, we just got to bring it to the games and do, do what Coach Miles wants us to do. Glenn, you played for a very well-known high school coach in the Chicago area, Gene Pingator at St. Joe's, which is a powerhouse program. Isaiah Thomas, among others, played there, but a whole litany of really good Big Ten players through the years. Right. Anyone who's seen Hoop Dreams is familiar with Coach Pingator. How would you compare him to Coach Miles? Um, I mean, they both, you know, look for a lot out of their guys, out of their point guards especially. Um, um, I think Coach, I mean, Coach, Coach Ping is more like an old school coach. Um, so, like, he got his ways of doing things. Coach Miles kind of, you know, right now and adapting to the, this. But Coach, Coach Ping, he stick to what he's been doing forever. You have made a particularly significant jump this year offensively, particularly your outside shooting, shooting at a much higher percentage and it appears far more confidently this year. What changed for you? Um, I mean, in the offseason, just work. Um, worked and kept at it. I mean, every day just kept working and working. And that was the main thing. Um, and just um, my teammates believing in me and the coaching staff believing in me to make plays and make shots for the team. And um, they running different plays for me to get open and create for my teammates and for myself. So um, I think that was a big thing for, for me and just me having more confidence. Glenn, you guys have Iowa and Northwestern coming to town this week. And, of course, Jordan Nash of Northwestern was your high school backcourt mate at St. Joe's. You guys won a state championship together. Any particular bragging rights associated with that game? Uh, I mean, uh, you know, um, the Iowa game is going to be big for us. Um, you know, they're going to come in, try to get a, get a you know, big win against us since we 2-0. But we know we got to stay, stay humble and stay, stay with it and get ready to... Um, Take on them Thursday and get the W. And then um, Sunday, you know, yeah, Jordan Nash, I mean, last year, you know, he got the, they got the best of us, uh, beating us twice at home in a way. So um, he talked about it, I mean, but I got this year, I can't let them, I can't let, I can't let that happen this year. All right, certainly some incentive for that one. Glenn Watson in Nebraska, thanks a lot for your time, Glenn, and congratulations on your success to this point this year. All right, thank you.